Alright, you want to let it down? Get it out? Yeah, I'll let it down. We got the HHR back in here doing fixing the exhaust on it real quick. Alright, uh, there's like an accordion style. Right there, the accordion style uh, part of the pipe comes off the manifold. Uh, as you can see right there, it's busted. Uh, I just had to use the heat inductor to get the nuts off. This is what a heat inductor is. It's an electronic heat inductor. You stick the nut in through here, sends electrodes to it, heats the, the actual nut instead of using electricity. Uh, so we got the part that's going to fix that. That part is literally just from there to the front of this first cat. Uh, but we're also going to go ahead and, because the last O2 sensor is right here. So we're going to cut the exhaust here and here. Put a piece of pipe in there because this is all rusted up and it's nasty and gross looking. Um, then he is going to be putting a tip on the back and trying to make it look a little bit better. Like I said, they're not going to do a bunch of stuff to this HHR, you guys. I know it's been a while since y'all seen it. But we're just going to spruce it up, make it a little bit better, make it look nicer. It's going to take some time because this is just a regular daily driver. It's not like it's a show car or anything. It's just something when we got extra money we're going to do something with. But this is something that needs to be fixed, so we might as well go ahead and do some other stuff to it as well. Don't really want to take the rear muffler out of this thing because we don't want it to sound like a bumblebee and we don't want it to be stupid aggressive. It's Like I said, it's a daily driver. gets almost 40 miles to the gallon. We like that. We want to try and keep it. But we also want to try and get a little bit more sound out of it, get a little bit more power out of it, a little bit better fuel economy. So getting rid of this rear cat and this resonator when there's no O2 sensor behind this cat is actually going to help out with restriction a lot. So it's going to allow it to flow a lot better. And uh, fixing that up there is definitely going to help the gas mileage back out again and it not sound like it doesn't have an exhaust on it. So right now I'm going to lower the vehicle back down, get the tip out, and we're going to start welding up on this thing. Okay, so got the exhaust what you cut out. Uh, they're right here. My dad found some bolts in order to put this new one on there. I'm gonna have to bolt it up on there in order to get it to work, though. So he's putting that together now. I said it's gonna have to get ran up with a gun, though. I think it's because there's so much rust on there. Okay. Well, we're gonna find the right bolts real quick. That. Because I'm doing this. All right. So he's got it tacked in there. I grab that. I want to go ahead and grab this so it doesn't fall on him. You'll see when I pull it out where he tacked it together at. Let's see, right there and right there. So we're gonna go ahead and weld yeah, this up. Close yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and get this set up so we can get it welded. <coughs> Basically, what I'm gonna do is just hold this and then. Do a little speed up real quick of him welding it. bolt it in now if we get it bolted in we're gonna weld whatever's left from here to this other pipe so we'll measure out a pipe cut it weld it up and then the last thing left to do is put the tip on and then uh, spray all the welds with uh, paint so it doesn't rust
Like I said, you guys, it's not something that we really did for sound. It's more or less something that we just did to have a nice little tip. See if we get a little bit more gas mileage out of it. But that's another update on the $100 HHR, you guys. Uh, like I said, as we get more stuff for this thing, we will do more updates on it. Um, it's my mom's vehicle, so probably Mother's Day and her birthday, we're gonna do some more things. I know that's a little ways away, but you know, I, I wanna get the windows and everything tinted in it for her. And I also wanna fix the Chevrolet emblems, probably get a better grill, better headlights, better tail lights. And uh, eventually we'll get some wheels for it. But right now that's gonna be it, you guys. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget it, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscri subscribe button. Also, uh, comment down below what it is that you wanna see us do next. You know, what it is that you like about these series that we got going on. But, like I said, that's it for me, guys. See you in the next one.